Generation 2 Pass the gun review! Woohoo! In the world of Generation 2, Dirge is busy destroying the streets. As Trax is trying to do his patrol, he keeps avoiding every laser blast. And suddenly, he just gets fed up. Trax decides to take his flight mode because he's tired of dirge tampering with everything. As the two decide to engage, they decide to transform. The fate of Cybertron is in your hands. Generation 2 Transformers brought to you by Hasbro. Some assembly required, vehicles and figures sold separately. Generation 2 tracks! Here's G2 tracks in his blue, as usual, motif. Except for now, it's got a lot of silver. Really cool. If any of you guys out there um, are into the classic Corvette scene, you guys know that this striping is very iconic. It's got this nice striping that actually wraps around the rear. Sadly, no uh, tail lights, but you know. Hey! G2 wasn't all about the crazy, like, accuracy. It was about the, the, the nutsoid type of thing going on. Guys, nice G2 emblem going on right there on the roof. Still retains the whole uh, diaclone thing where you can flip up the roof and stick a guy in there. So no differences there whatsoever on that one. Yeah. Now if I can get this roof to go back down. This roof has always been a pain. Anyway, there we go. Anyhow, there's G2 tracks in his... Corvette mode. Very awesome. Very cool. I've always liked Trax. Thought he was a cool rock. Really, really cool bot. But anyhow, let's go ahead and go into his crazy transformation. This transformation is not too difficult. This one like tends to stick all the time on me, and I don't know why. I've been having issues with that lately. Like, there we go. I'm gonna flip out these feet. Now, if you notice, there are some differences here. These are no longer white. These are now silver. So he does have some differences here. Oh, well, his foot wants to be a pain. Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Got it. Got his feet. Tracks has always been a pain down here. I don't know what's up with the legs. Legs have always been wonky on these molds. Yeah. Spin him around just like so. Come back here. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to show off his flying car mode. Well, we'll do that here in a minute. Anyhow. Flip this up. Flip this up. Over to the side. down so I'll grab this little thing here and you push it out just to get the little fists out it's got little teeny tiny fists I always thought that was kind of funny his fists are so small but hey it works we gonna flip this down for the epic head reveal and there we are there's Trax's nugget let's 
It's got this nice yellow going on with all this silver. All this silver, just it's nice and reflective and it looks great. Really, really brings out the colors in him. I love this version. This version is just off the train, off the train, off the chain, and it fell off the train. Okay, off the G2 train, of course. Anyhow, he's really cool, really awesome. I dig him. He's cool. I just, I, li I love this guy. He just, he just looks really cool. Got a lot of silver going on here on the back too. Just the silver goes all the way throughout the entire body. But anyhow, that has been Generation 2 tracks in his robot mode. Yes, I forgot to show off the flying car, but I'm guessing you guys probably saw the commercial, so. You know, it's a flying car. It's, it does exactly what the flying car does, you know? I mean, it's not like it's the DeLorean or something. Let's see if I can quickly put him in the car mode again. It's technically, putting him in flying car mode is pretty easy for a robot mode. Because that's about all you do right there. That's it. We're trying to get this foot in. There you go, there's tracks in flying car mode. His wings are positionable, obviously, you know, if you want them to stick straight out like that. So, you know. Hey, it's tracks. Anyhow, this has been Plastic On. This has been our Generation 2 review. There's gonna be more coming your guys' way really soon. Anyhow, this is me signing off. Peace out, you guys! Get your own! Woo!